Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you could see it and you could purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing a 2003 launch from Vacheron Constantin from the Historique Collection or watches inspired by great past references. This is the Vacheron Constantin Toledo 1952, nicknamed the Chico Latone. Effectively, Named after an Italian chocolate candy, the watch is also modeled after 1950s references that featured this extraordinary drawn, almost fluid-like case. The watch you see here, white gold, substantial on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. Uh, the timepiece, of course, remarkably polyvalent with a fluid case form, multiple complications, a Vacheron shape and heritage, and a JLC movement. It's got it all going on. The timepiece measures 35 millimeters from, well, conventionally 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock, but you can see that the watch isn't easily characterized in round watch terms. From lug to lug, it's surprisingly reasonable and it's drawn taffy-like form, has a 43.2 millimeter lug to lug span with a 12.9 millimeter thickness that is, well, altogether quite reasonable given the complication of the watch. The spacing between the lugs designed to be forward looking rather than retrograde as it's 22 millimeters between the lugs, a hallmark of modern watch design. The watches that inspired this timepiece were early 1950s Vacheron references, like for example the 6440. Those watches featured a case form that's not easily characterized. Now of course it seems Italian collectors have a nickname for every vintage watch, so this is the Chico Latone, after a sort of chocolate that looks much like the case. And it's good that I didn't name this watch, because I probably would have called it the Laffy Taffy. It really does look like a piece of melted and drawn taffy. All of which is to say, it has a wonderfully fluid form that's difficult to pigeonhole. It's wasp waisted at its center, and you can see it features a sort of layered stepped lug profile at its end, beautifully rounded off, all in high polish. If you look at the watch from its side, you can see that there is a compound curvature about the crystal itself. It curves end to end, and then it also curves side to side, and then it also curves off diagonally into the corners, making it one of the most complex crystals I have ever encountered on a standard timepiece. This is a watch with a wonderfully recessed crown that's almost invisible when the watch is viewed from the front, and a dial that features impressive depth and detailing with a railroad track outboard, and as you can see, applique diamond style applique indices, as well as Arabic numerals 10, 2, 4, and 8. The hands at center have a loft and a three-dimensional quality to them, almost a barrel-like profile that's exceptional for a group brand, and well, Vacheron is a mass producer of watches in the tens of thousands, but the quality of the hands on this dial are the likes of which you would expect from a one-horse shop like Philippe Dufour or Roger Smith, giving those hands a lovely mirror polish and a three-dimensional loft or rounded barrel-like form. It's more than I expected from a Richemont Group product. And this timepiece excels in every regard. Moon phase, triple calendar, lunette style, pointer date, and a lovely multi-planar dial. You can see how the center dial itself is actually cut into the dial. So it drops the viewpoint from the top with the hands and the hour track down to the bottom, ultimately down to the discs for the moon phase, the day, the month, and then you can see the date. What's also exceptional is because of the JLC base caliber, you have a uncommon feature for Vacherons back in 2003 which is a hacking or stop seconds function. Underneath the case back, you can see the freehand engraved Toledo nomenclature and the reference 47300. A Vacheron caliber 1125. It's important to note this is a JLC 891 with a triple calendar moon phase module. The link between Vacheron and Jager Lecoultre dating back to the mid 19th century and the earliest days of Lecoultre watches. Vacheron, for a long period, the ultimate etableur in Switzerland, taking the best parts made elsewhere and then put together under the marquee of Vacheron Constantin. The caliber 1125 based on the 891 automatic with a 28.8 beat rate, stop seconds, 36 joules adjusted in six positions. It features the 40 hour power reserve characteristic of the base caliber and a handsome degree of finishing including true fire annealed screws. You can see a combination of satin finish, freehand engraving and beautifully polished white gold on this timepiece. Again, a complication that defies description. You decide how you're going to nickname this one. Put it on your wrist and make the dream happen on the watch box.